submitted by Chris what? himself. What? <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember sending this question? Yeah, I know. Okay. I just don't like people to know that I'm the one who submitted this. It's uh, just kind of embarrassing. Chris submitted this question, everybody. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> so, uh, the question is, what do you brag about? And so, since Chris started this question, I I think it's fitting that he would answer. What I I don't answer think that first. I was. It's like me asking you the question, Chris. Right? What do so you, you brag about? <laughs> do you do you want me? I can answer the question if you want. You should go first. Oh gosh. Okay. Fine. Um, I I was actually thinking about this question uh, because I think I guess in our culture, and and we're both we're both Asian American. If, mm-hmm. if you guys haven't caught on to that yet. Um, I think in our culture, there isn't a lot of bragging per se, but I think there's a lot of passive bragging. And I think what, what I mean by that is that like, um, I think I'll talk about my achievements and activities. I think like a lot of times, even I think I do this subconsciously where like, you know, someone asks me like, Oh, where you're from or like what kind of life stage you're at. Sure. And I always have to tell them like where I'm at, but also like beef it up a little bit, Uh. you know? So like, for example, you know, um, I would say like, oh yeah, like I work at Google and like I, I st- I'm studying my master's in computer science. Like I'm always trying to say like um, I'm being productive, I'm being proactive, I'm doing mm-hmm. all these activities. And I'll even like describe these activities as like something way cooler than what it may actually be. <laughs> You're trying to hype it up? <laughs> yeah. You, you know, like, I mean, um, I'm trying to think of an example and I, I can't uh, get out of my head. Yeah. Like even take my job for example like i'm I'm contracted to google right Mm -hmm. so like i'm not technically employed by google but i'll just say like oh i work for google i work at google and it kind of like as long as i throw out that name like people are like "Ooh, that's Mm -hmm. so cool you know like Mm -hmm. so and then and you do like the the double negative passive bragging where you're just like oh no it's not it's you know it's nothing or like you know uh you know i got a degree in like chemical engineering oh man that's nothing no big deal no big deal deal. deal. mbd even even though i was like the youngest person in my class like it's not a big deal and oh and i got two minors on the way but you know like anybody could have gone that Mm -hmm. you know in my situation so um i think there's a lot of like passive bragging for me Mm, humble bragging Uh, bragging? humble brag yeah there you go humble brag uh, where where we don't outright like say like oh yeah like I'm the best but like I think what I'll do is like um, yeah kind of like slip it under the table and just say like oh like you know um, but it- that's interesting because I feel like is that do you think that's a cultural thing do you think there's other cultures in the world where maybe like um, bragging is the thing to do like where it's like why are you like putting down yourself so much like you should just like you know talk up your achievements I think you know? I think so I think definitely think so? and I, and you know even I think. I'm not being as honest as I should be. Hmm. I think honestly, if I just stepped up and said what where I'm at, mm-hmm. like without kind of like fluffing it up or like just putting myself down, yeah, I think if I actually just said what I honestly am, yeah, I think that would just like dispel the whole kind of like issue of bragging. So sounds like it, doesn't it? Yeah, because you can have false modesty and you can also have true humility, and that's true. Yeah, but to take it one step further, huh. actually, as I'm thinking about this question. Is bragging a bad thing? And by bad, I mean quote unquote bad thing. Sure. That's a valid question. What do you think? Is it? I don't know. I'm asking you. <laughs> You're asking me. Because you asked me this question. So uh, I ask you this well, question. maybe I should answer the, sure, question, the sure. first question. Yeah. That you could talk about that. Okay. What do you brag about, Chris? Um, I think that I also do a lot of humble bragging. Uh, and that sometimes it's sim- something simple like a social media post mm. of like some awesome picture that of what you're doing can be a form of humble bragging. It's like, yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm awesome. <laughs> but uh, that aside, like, I think that I tend to, um, even if I don't make it explicit, I tend to want people to be wowed by me or impressed by me. Hmm. But the way I do it is not by explicit bragging, like you said but it's probably by understating it and then just like going above and beyond so mm-hmm. that there's like, wait a minute. Like he said that it wasn't a big deal, but this is actually pretty awesome. Mm. Like that kind of experience. And I don't really do it because I want, I don't think I do it. Maybe I do do this because I want people to like think really highly of me, mm-hmm. but I do it partly also because that's what I love. I love getting surprised in an awesome way. Um, but in the bigger, in the bigger picture, it's sort of like if anybody has seen the Incredibles, uh, have you seen The Incredibles, Alan? Yeah, I've seen okay, The Okay, so you know that scene where there's that little kid who is like on his little tricycle mm-hmm. and uh, blowing bubble gum 
Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, so that one scene where he's, like, kind of scooting up, and then Mr. Incredible picks up that car, and, and he's, like, looks at this little kid over there, like, what do you, like, what do you want? Like, yeah. what are you looking at, you know? Mm -hmm. And the kid says, basically, I don't know, something amazing, I guess. Oh, uh, I remember that, yeah. Uh, and, like, that experience of, like, just being this, like, you know, ho-hum, nobody, but then, like, you're like, whoa, like, you know, it's, like, it's it's cool. Yeah. And uh, I prefer that to, to the kind of, like, I guess, overstated magnificence of something. Mm, um, it's like, surprise, you thought it wasn't much, but it actually is a lot. Yeah. But to answer your question about bragging being bad or not, the reason why I asked this question, actually, Alan, is because I was thinking about it on that morning when I sent you the question. Okay. And what I realized... Um, this is going to get serious guys. I realized that if I read the scriptures, right, then Paul says like, I refuse to boast in anything except for the cross of Jesus Christ. Boasting mm -hmm. is bragging, right? Yeah, yeah, boasting basically. is the same thing as bragging. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we brag about things that we really think are awesome. Right. Mm, it's like yeah. praising in a sense. It could be self praising Like our successes or our, like, yeah, it's like, Oh, I'm pretty awesome. Like I was at Amazon for three and a half years, you know, whatever mm -hmm. like that. And yeah. I got these awards and you know, whatever, these are all my achievements. It's pretty amazing. Pretty awesome. But I realized that if we take it seriously to boast in God, then that means that we have to find God to be really that amazing and awesome. Mm. And when I read the Psalms and the scriptures, that seems like exactly what the psalmists are doing. And that's really what worship is. Worship isn't just singing the worship praise songs or whatever like that on a Sunday service. Is that you just find God so incredibly amazing that uh, he's the guy you want to brag about. Maybe like kids in a playground where like, oh yeah, well my dad does X, Y, Z. Like, well my dad could beat your dad because he's like this awesome, whatever. And it's that kind of bragging. Mm -hmm. um, but for believers, it's like, you know, my God can raise the dead. Oh. Anything you throw at me, <laughs> he can turn back on your head. Right, like, yeah. like, like, to find God that amazing that you would be bragging about Him to other people, is the attitude of worship. It's the attitude of finding Him to be spectacular and supreme above every other thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. like, you know, in my world, you know, some of the idols, quote unquote, of the stars, I guess, the rock stars in my world would be. You could look at like technology entrepreneurs, like Mark Zuckerberg in our generation, Bill Gates in the previous generation. Everybody looks yeah. up and admires them. Mm -hmm. You have people who are highly technical and have done amazing research and, you know, made these massive discoveries about how to process big data, machine learning, so that we can have amazing uh, speech recognition algorithms now, those kinds of things. And everybody just admires and respects them. And, and men, much of it is not wrong, like, because perhaps that really is, you know, their achievement. But in the bigger scope of things, um, it's, you know, do I really find God to be more spectacular than, say getting funded by Kleiner Perkins or a VC or something like that, a famous VC. Hmm. Uh, do I find his wisdom to be greater than that of the most brilliant Nobel winning, you know, Nobel prize winning scientist? Mm -hmm. And do I find his generosity and kindness to be greater than that of even the Bill and Melinda Gates foundation so that I would brag about him? Hmm. Cause those things are generosity is good. Intelligence is good. All these things are gifts and they're good. Um, but God really does surpass everyone in every dimension and if we believe it and we experience it, we're going to brag about him. Mm. Um, and really, then, in light of his glory, my accomplishments can't really hold a candle. There's not much to brag about. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah, in comparison. <laughs> so bragging basically is just elevating, elevating something above, um, kind of, ab like, elevating something in honor, basically. Yeah, I think so. Like, you just think highly of that thing. Think highly, yeah. Yeah. So it could, it doesn't have to be bad. I don't think so. I mean, at least if you want to assume that it's bad, then you have to assume that that what Paul says, boasting in God and boasting in Jesus is a bad thing. A bad I don't thing, think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting how he uses that language too. On purpose, probably. Yeah, on purpose, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure.